Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how the virtual LAN, we call it as VLAN, uh, is working in a Cisco packet tracer. Before that, we need to know what do you mean by VLAN concept. VLAN is nothing but it's a, a broadcast domain that is partitioned and isolated uh, in a compute network at a data link layer that is in the OSA layer 2. Actually, VLANs allow network administrators to group host together even if the hosts are not directly connected to the same network switch. Because VLAN membership can be configured through software, uh, this can greatly simplify network design and deployment. Without VLANs, grouping hosts according to their resource need, uh, needs the labor of relocating nodes or rewiring data links. VLAN allow actually uh, networks and devices that must be kept separate to share the same physical cabling without interacting, improving simplicity, uh, securely for security purpose and uh, traffic management and economically we can uh, give uh, a virtual LAN concept. Uh, let's be, uh, let's we can see uh, how the virtual LAN is working uh, in a packet tracer. This is the packet tracer environment. Uh, for the virtual LAN, we need one networking device uh, that is a switch. We need only we need only one network actually. Uh, so I will place one switch over here. And uh, for the end machines, uh, I will choose some PCs. I will choose some PCs uh, to make the network, make the virtual LAN, one, two, and three for one side, and one, two, and three for the other side. Okay, then going to the connections, and I'll choose this automatic connection, and I will cable it uh, to the particular switch. Okay, uh, this is basic, and uh, cable it to that switch port that is the fast ethernet port of that particular switch let me see uh, uh, we can create uh, actually this is uh, one network and i will create the separate region actually uh, the region is different uh, because i will uh, put some color here and the region is different and this region uh, we can see like this this is one region and again going to color we can give another color here and uh, light green is better so i will put another region okay actually this uh, this is a similar network and we will create two regions for that we we'll create two regions and i will put some uh, network address here 192 168 and 1.0 yeah 1.0 is a network it is a common network and uh, we will see uh, how these uh, physical machines can be separated uh, in a single network actually i use this uh, i i will use uh, here some physical uh, here the machines are used for some purpose like uh, networking uh, purpose like networking and here uh, it is for the Cisco purpose uh, we can use these machines. So here three machines are used for Cisco and here the three machines are used for networking purpose. Okay, let me see uh, um, this uh, we need to uh, give the IP addresses first uh, then after we can see the code. Okay, I will put the IP address and click on this machine and uh, go to desktop. IP configuration, the first address 192.168.1.1 I uh, put this address and mask, subject mask and again the same procedure again the second address 192.168.1.2 1.2 is the second address and the third address third address is 192.168.1.3 I just copy paste here this one because of similar uh, IPs are using and uh, next one the same network that is 192.168.1.4 1.4 uh, 
and the mask and the same network next address and it is 1.5 and the mask and the next address is uh, it is the last one uh, 1.6 and the similar network mask clear or we will put all the IP addresses for the end machines uh, these machines are already configured and let's see uh, there is no um, router here uh, so we uh, don't want to create any default gateway uh, so I will create this only one network for this one okay let me see how to code in this switch and click on switch go to CLI mode and click on enter uh, we can see uh, it in uh, you can uh, go to the privilege mode and uh, config terminal we know uh, we need to go to the config terminal uh, before we, we need to create the vlan okay first i will uh, try to uh, give two vlans one for networking uh, let me see here one for networking and another for cisco okay so the first vlan is uh, the vlan 10 the vlan 10 is created VLAN 10 and uh, I will create the name name it as uh, networking as we mentioned networking name is networking and uh, we'll put exit okay one is okay and other VLAN other VLAN is VLAN 20 and uh, I named it as name uh, other one is actually Cisco uh, Cisco purpose uh, and uh, click enter and exit okay so uh, I will create the two VLANs all here and again uh, one more exit we need to check the VLANs are properly working or not the uh, code is uh, show show code we can use uh, show VLAN show VLAN yes you can see here uh, VLAN 10 and VLAN, VLAN 20 both are created and this uh, okay and uh, next we have to go for uh, go for the execution uh, code that is um, uh, we need to create the interface that is again go to config terminal config terminal mode and uh, interface we can put the interface and we need to just check what are the interfaces or here this is 0 1 this is 0 2 this is 0 3 Again, this is 04 and this is 05 and this is 06. These are the interfaces. Okay, so for 1, 2, and 3, I will create the VLAN for VLAN 10. For 4, 5, and 6, I will create it for VLAN 20. So if uh, uh, 0 bar 1, if 0 bar 1, uh, I will create uh, switch mode, switch mode, switch port access, switch port access. VLAN VLAN 10 VLAN 10 is created for that uh, this particular interfaces 1 2 and 3 again uh, go to exit mode uh, okay uh, again interface we have uh, 0 bar 2 0 bar 2 and switch port access sorry switch port access VLAN 20 sorry we ran 10 here and the same network we ran 10 again exit one more port is there that is interface f 0 bar 3 0 bar 3 and switch port access vlan 10 again 10 and exit Yes, uh, now one side is over, networking side is over. Uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 3. Uh, similar cases. Interface F 0 bar 4, 0 bar 4. Switch port access, switch port access, and VLAN. VLAN 20 here. It is a nest, nest, nest uh, VLAN. And exit. Again, interface f0 bar 5 and uh, switch port access vlan again 20 and exit and going to last 
Yes, for the last interface, interface F0 bar 6 uh, switch port access uh, and VLAN 20 and we can give exit and uh, we need to check uh, the VLAN is properly working or not. Uh, we can check the code, uh, show VLAN, show VLAN code, and then click enter. We can see here the VLAN 10 and 20 both are active and uh, for the VLAN 10, F0 bar 1, 2, 3 are active. And for VLAN 20, it is uh, 4, 5, 6 are active. Okay, that's done. And it is all about uh, the VLAN configuration. And we can see the packets are pinging or not here. And uh, when I uh, click on the simple PDU, and I will send one packet from this network and the, to the similar network, uh, same similar network, the packets are pinging successfully and again from this machine to this machine also it will be in the same uh, VLAN it will be in the same VLAN so it is working properly it is in VLAN 10 and the same case uh, from this machine to this machine it is uh, successful and again from this machine to this mean machine again successful and again from uh, this one to this one also uh, success. So this is in the Cisco VLAN and this uh, VLAN 20. So within the VLAN the communication is okay and we can check any information from this side uh, is communicated uh, is communicating properly to this side. Okay, we can see here the communication is failed because uh, the VLAN is created securely for this region only and this VLAN is created securely for this region only That is the advantage of VLAN uh, for simplifying the network. Uh, we can create different regions and we can um, We can create uh, authenticated and integrated uh, network uh, Within a particular single network. We can use only one network here 192.168.1.0 and within that network, we can create two regions. One is for the networking and the other one is for the Cisco purpose. So this is all about VLAN. Uh, you can ping from one PC to another PC also. Uh, that is also possible. And I will ping from this PC and uh, ping 192.168.1.0. The last session, I, I will ping on 1.6. 1.6, you can see here, um, it will not uh, communicate it will show some timeout yeah so show some timeout message only okay this is how we can create the vlan network and uh, this advantage of vlan and we can create separate regions within the network uh, so uh, it's all about vlan and uh, if you like this video uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, click bell icon for the future uh, videos and uh, Yes, uh, that's all about uh, VLAN configuration. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Uh, thank you. Thank you all.